All right, it is time for pre-market prep at the close. Three consecutive highs open, matched yesterday's low, and then once it took out there, that's all the breakout momentum traders needed. Joel, it has been a day. It has been a day. I was all set to ask you about... Are we going to all-time highs? Are we going to look at that reversal? We're going to all-time highs. I don't even care about that anymore. All I care about now is GameStop. GameStop, GameStop, GameStop is going to the moon. Maybe not. At least maybe like uh, the the mountaintop or the bottom of the atmosphere for now, because GameStop is rolling. Oh, we're at fresh highs now. Can I? Can I be the first? Can I be the first to change the name of this stock? The first person on Wall Street. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Game stock. That's what that's what everyone calls it. Oh, okay. I thought <laughs> I thought no. I thought they were just calling stonk stonks. I thought I came up with that. No. <laughs> okay. The other thing too is that like an <laughs> organ or a piano that they're playing the music for the. Uh, I, I for don't the know. Close? I, 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 I was I, like I, I didn't make it. It was on my keyboard. It was like ELO. Probably everyone, <laughs> everyone's too young in the chat. Oh, please, we, yeah, we you know, don't know. name one song. Uh, I know, uh, I know his name is Jeff. Okay, okay. <laughs> right? Wait, what's his name? Jeff something? What's his name? Uh, I, I don't know. Jeff Wynn. Uh, Jeff Wynn. Jeff Wynn. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I knew that was much. great, man. Electrical. Oh, man. Right. I miss I, those I, days. But I am not Mr. Blue Sky telephone line. Come on. Don't bring me down. Maybe that's what do we should call this market. It's the ELO market. Don't bring me down. It never goes down. But uh, we got abbreviated um, at the close here. So I'm not going to mess around with crude, which is busting out up a buck fifty-five, or silver, or Bitcoin. We're just going to do whatever Spencer wants to do and whatever the chat wants to do. I'm going to. I want to do GameStop. This is ridiculous. It's just you know, it's just a sleepy giant. You know, the Wall Street bets, Reddit guys. You know, it just got sleepy down there, and they teamed up. And there's no news, right? We're not seeing any news. I'm looking. GameStop doesn't doesn't no, need news. No, I mean, come on. It's just a good old, you know, just make those evil short sellers pay. I mean, it just got a little, you know, a little stagnant down so there. Random. And- it's just so random, and it does nothing. Oh, someone's calling me. Get out of here, Patrick. It's like it just—it does nothing for 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 two weeks, and then bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Ah, uh, just you know, complacent. You know, got quiet, and uh, you know they they're moving. I'm I'm gonna wait to see what happens today to do the technicals on it. Uh, but it's going, and they got it going here in the hour of power. Let's see. I mean, there might be some news coming out after the close. The CFO resigned yesterday, so something's been maybe something's in the hopper. I I don't know what, but um, you know, maybe the shorts got complacent down here and. They jammed it again. But what I'm glad to see is that the market is not tanking with it, right? It's uh it's holding in there. So where are we at? We're at the just hit 70 bucks. That's a nice round number. I mean, if you're playing, just you know, know your risk, know your, you know, your reward. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Ford because the twelve dollar seller right. has been vanquished. Yeah, they got part. Someone mentioned they got part of that. Uh, look at that institutional sell. They cap it. It busted through. I'm gonna wait. You know it's gonna come back down to twelve. I'm gonna wait until it comes back down. I to don't 12. know anything. All I know is it, we're at twelve thirty. That's a beautiful move for Fords. It's about time. Got up to twelve forty. Uh, I mean, it was. I was watching it in the uh, the pre market, and it was just creeper. You know, you can see there was someone left an offer, so. Man, that's that's uh, the highest we've been since holy moly, <laughs> July of 2018. I Three mean, unless high, baby, let's go, let's go, let's go, Fords. I won't even say found off road daily or blank old rebuilt Dodge. I won't even say that. Let's go. I don't know where my cost basis is, somewhere around 10. I don't Good know. For I, don't, you, I, I don't remember, but I, I'm in it to win it with Ford. We are here. Ford is 
going at least to 1241. No, I'm joking. That's a good move. Christopher that, is saying puts. That, yeah, a decent, yeah, yeah, sell puts. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, sell puts. I'm sure you get a lot of premium there. No, that's a good move. It's funny. I was talking on the phone with Luke and um, someone else the other day. And they said, what about Ford? I'm like, it's just got to get over 12. I mean, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So it is cleared today. It's backing off. And uh, one of the best days it's had in a long time. All right. Um, yeah, I, I had a whole thing, but then GameStop kind of threw me off. Uh, just what are you seeing out there, Joel? Because it was a, it, it's been a really a, another by the dip day, right? Uh, we, we, we shook everyone out who was bearish at the open. Yeah. Now we're ripping higher. Uh, knocking on the door of all time highs. The all time high in the S and P's is thirty nine, thirty six, right? Yeah, um, um, and we're right there. We're, I we're think kind of right there. I mean, with the day that you had yesterday, right? And Dennis, Dennis had a great question this morning, mm-hmm. and he said, "You know, you know, we're not going to go back down to that low, right? That oh four seventy five. We were just too far off it. So it was like." Everyone was waiting for like, okay, well, I didn't buy the low yesterday. Maybe I'll get a little back and fill the day, you mm-hmm. know? And um, and they tried. They tried to press it off the open. Couldn't take out the pre-market low. You know how I like to look at that as an indicator. 51.75 is your pre-market low. 55 and a half. And then they're like, I missed the dip. I missed the correction. And so instead of buying into weakness, which would have been very easily done yesterday, getting hit on your popped on your bids, you had to buy into a rising market. And that's tough. Uh, Old time closing high, 39.31. Uh, definitely got our sights within that with uh, with 23 minutes to go in the session. I could only be with you for eight more minutes, but uh just hit me up. Hit me okay. up with what you want to cover, Spencer. Let's hit tickers from the chat. Yeah, Bill Big D Square. Interesting. Randy Elias brought this up uh, to, on the stream this morning. Uh, divergence today was Square because Bitcoin was up. Riot was up. Mara was up. All, all the Bitcoin stocks were up, and Square was getting punished. Yeah, I mean, look at the – I mean, punished. I mean, the, people ignore – the move from 280 to 280 in less than a month. So you pull back. I mean, the interesting thing, the only thing I can say about this is they undercut yesterday's low and then rallied. The old undercut and rally. So, you know, that's a valid setup there. If you think that, you know, it's being a little bit beat up because of that report and you took along when it came back up through 3250, you're looking good. Move your stop to 3068. See what happens. All right. Uh, easy Mike asking about Boeing. I have not looked at Boeing today, so I do not What's know what it's doing. That stock it today. has a lot of bad Holy news. Jeez. Sh- uh, what's it up? 30 or something? Oh, my goodness. I did not even see that at all today. It was so quiet in the pre market. All right. Hold on. Hold on. What? What Must is that? Must be up a lot. Come uh, on, Bo- Boeing. Our, okay. Kramer tweeted that Boeing is his favorite stock. Oh, really? What stock is so crazy? He did, huh? That's his favorite stock. Well, that's all you need, folks. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's the power yeah. of one Kramer tweet right there. He yeah. says it's his favorite stock. Uh, 244.08. That's been the high of the rebound. That's your next stop a point. That's uh, 20, a little, little less than 20 points away. You want to see it get that, take it out, and keep on moving. Also, you know, we talk a lot about retracements and rebounds and everything. Boeing hasn't really sniffed a 50% here. Let me draw it for you that are at home. And, hey, why not? Why not go to 273 in Boeing, right? Take back half of that move. It's taken a while, but there it is. Um, I don't know. These Kramer moves, you know, you could chase them if you want. But uh, I think you got room up to 244 and change all right, for those keeping track, GameStop has been halted. 338.42 was the exact time of the trading halt. So, uh, new spending? Down. No, 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 no Just new spending. Just because of our volume. No, no, no new spending, Joel. <laughs> Don't think someone's going to buy them. No one's buying GameStop. Not now. There's something going on. I'm telling you, Spencer, there's something going on. This is it's weird. It's weird. I, I'm not saying it's not weird. I'm not saying you're, the CFO you're... resigns yesterday. Well, okay? yeah, yeah. And this, I, I don't know. 
why it was halted because of volatility? Because it was up so much? Probably. I mean, that's, that seems logical to me, right? Yeah. Now, oh, and now KOSS. Oh, crap. Chat's oh, all over here we I go would. again. I just, I just 10 minutes ago. Let's um, go, AMC. No, 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 no. Let's this is go, ridiculous. Let's I go, just, let's go. I just 10 minutes ago was like, hey, I wonder what like, AMC and Bel- Blackberry and Bed Bath & Beyond are doing. And they weren't doing Dilly's Squat. And now all of a sudden, something's going down. I just checked all of these. And the candle, it was not like this. It was not like this. When at like 325, whatever, whenever I last checked. Jesus. Uh, I don't know, man. These stocks. I mean, you know, if people got, you know, can play. Oh, whatever. No, up work. I think we're going to change that to down work. <laughs> <laughs> I told Raz to throw something out there at 64, but yeah. he wouldn't have gotten done. Look at that. How high did it get? That was just that was just a gut call. There was nothing, you know, 6388, folks. If there's anything you're going to learn from this abbreviated uh, broadcast is, man, when you see an after-hour spike to just over 64, and then it comes down and does this kind of, like, action, and then you get near that, like, I would have been hanging out there at 64 waiting to get lifted. You did it in 6388. When you don't take out the when the news and the earnings and stuff, when you don't break out that pre market high and uh and Bill Big D, I know you said uh oh wow, I'm gonna regret selling this thing at sixty. I almost sent you a secret direct message saying, I think by the end of the day, you're not gonna regret that sale. I just had a like a little sneaky feeling and uh little profit taking, but you haven't even been to the top of yesterday's range. If you were trading this thing and it broke 60, which was the former old time high, um, your ears should have been off on full alert there. Uh, when they, you know, when it fell back down, I called it support and I was just kind of saying tongue in cheek, but there you go. So, uh, it's going to get, maybe get the top of yesterday's range, 52.11. Ooh, you got awful close. I'm not the only one that can read a gap. It got to 52.14, but still looks kind of heavy. Going into the final eighteen minutes of the session. Okay, uh, you know, hey, I, I don't have a Robinhood account. Maybe Robinhood restricted uh, li- li- lifted some limits. I have no idea. Uh, maybe they they're allowing everyone to buy. Uh, I, I have no clue. But th- th- this is exactly <laughs> exactly right. Donkey limit. This is a circus, man. This is just a, this is a total circus. Now I'm a little worried because the, the, those stocks are acting up, and now the spoos are selling off. So I don't. We hope oh hope we don't God. go into that deja vu all over again. It, it, uh, you hope you don't. We're we're in it, Joel. We're in it. It's happening. All right. <laughs> what all what right. a circus! Come on, this is ridiculous. So GameStop was a halted on volatility or something else? Yeah, uh, looks like a. It's uh, in says in pro reason not available. I, I'm assuming it's, it's volatility. It's a circuit halt. breaker. Hey guys. Circuit, circuit break. Oh, what's up, Luke? Uh, circuit breaker. Is that Lucas? Yeah, that was Lucas. He, he's in. He's in the background. What's up? Is. Spencer told me that that you you got to run. And yes. So I'm going to tag in whenever you tag out. But <laughs> okay. I heard the speculation about the Hulk code. I knew what it was, so I just popped in. Okay, second. thanks. Luke knows everything. Thanks, and Luke. if he doesn't know it, he makes it up very well. <laughs> 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 All right. Joel's going to hop. Joel, do, 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 I'm going to hop. You guys yeah. be good. Be good. Right. Luke, you better give some good technical levels. You better be on your game or else – I'm gonna come and get you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, we're we're looking at the nine hundred dollar level in GameStop. That's that's <laughs> the resistance. Resistance at nine hundred. I got it. Copy Adios, that. my friends. I'll talk go. to you in the morning. All right, all right, hey, Luke. I don't know if you're watching. I I I pulled up AMC and BlackBerry and uh, and Bed Bath and uh, right before we went on, and they weren't doing a whole lot. And in the last ten minutes, they all went went Let's went go baby bonkers. We're so back I'm, at it. All right, take two, and like. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to know why this is happening. You know what I mean? It's like we just don't know. Like Robinhood stopped selling. It's it's they changed it to buying orders only. No, is just it, kidding. It, 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 is this Melvin Capital? Are are they covering? <laughs> no, that wouldn't. That would, no. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, well look that at would, that. You're about to hit ninety, Spence. That, that would. Oh my god. All right. Well, you make me feel. We, we started this. We started this broadcast. It was at sixty-two, I think. But well, you, you make me sad because I bought shares at an average price of. Oh, you did too, actually. 
uh, uh, may, maybe something like 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 forty eight dollars, forty six dollars, somewhere around there, right oh, into the, to the congressional hearing, right? Ba ba basically, the the thesis that I had, there it is. There's your ninety. Come on, it's gonna take oh it my out. God, but, God. But basically, the thesis that I had buying it into the congressional hearing was as soon as Roaring Kitty uh, starts speaking, they're gonna rally the troops, and this is gonna be like the last stand. Is is this thing is gonna get bought up into that? It obviously didn't happen. The, the stock declined throughout the day. We got a little bit of a run. I was green for. 20 minutes maybe and ended up closing the position out at around $40 a share. So, so it was a decent hit, right? A 15% hit or so in a day. There, there is your 90 spent. So we have 95. Um, Do I hear a hundred by end of day? I might. Well, will, will they halt the stock on a circuit breaker after hours? Do you know if that is, is a thing that happens? Mm, that's a good question. I think I should know that, but I don't. Yeah. That's a really good question. I, I don't, I don't think they. And were. it looks like Spy caught a bid too. They they were starting to hammer it into the close. The the the, the last. Yeah. I'm looking at the one minute candles. The candle before was green again. All right. Brent, Brent tells me I've got to watch more one minute charts. So let's go to one minute chart here on Spy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 caught a bid on Spy. Yeah. Pull, pull, yeah, yeah. pull up Ford. Ford is the one that I was watching carefully mm -hmm. all day today. Th throw me a weekly chart on Ford. Throw weekly you, candles. Throw on your there. weekly candle. Look I at know, that. You, you never done that before. Yeah, go go back. Go, no, zoom back. Zoom back. Zoom back. All right. Zoom, all right. Zoom, all right. All right. Yeah, three three years. All right. Look at that. So 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 you have these highs in Ford. Literally a three year high in Ford at the twelve dollar level. And, and then if you switch it back to the dailies, let, let's look a little bit closer. Right, we we have high, 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 high. We had five, four days where, where Ford got rejected right around twelve right bucks. There. Today it broke above it. Uh, we we got as high as twelve forty as the top tick on that today. Um, it, it's selling off a little bit. So for my Ford long position, I'm in both the stock and I own the twelve dollar calls. They're leaps. Oh, nice. I have a lot of time in them. I know I bought the leaps at eight bucks. I mean, fucking oh, money wow. right there. Okay. Um, but 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 basically, what 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 I'm watching for Ford is is I don't want us to get anywhere near that twelve dollar level again, uh, either into the close today or in the extended hours period. Um, so so I'm I'm watching that one closely. All right, uh, real fast, I just want to take a second to do a quick earnings preview. Uh, we got some big names reporting uh, tonight. Is it and... GameStop? We don't care if it's not Spence, but keep going. No, NVIDIA is tonight. It's a pretty big name. Okay, well, so so that'll be interesting. That, that, will, will they have comments on the chip market, though? You would, that could be interesting for a lot of stocks. You would assume right? Where you, the, the global chip shortage. You would have to assume they're going to be asked about it on the call. So Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's super interesting. Yeah. Uh, uh, GME halted again, Spencer. Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 I didn't even realize it came out of the halt. When did it come out of the halt? You had the chart up. The price was moving. Oh, you're right. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Jesus. Now I understand why you need Joel to do this show with you every day. <laughs> Dude, uh, uh, fast market here. Yeah, Remember. yeah, yeah. So, so, so GameStop's halted. The price is $91.70. This thing is going to reopen at, at 351 and 38 <laughs> seconds, all right? So, so if you're on Eastern time, it's 51, and or if you're on any time zone, it's 51 minutes, 38 seconds. That's when this thing is going to reopen for trading. So, so we'll have another nine minutes into the close there on, on the stock. This is a, the stock is a comedy. It really is like a, like a one man show comedy, uh, one stock show comedy. It, it's just um, hilarious. And, and, and Bill, Bill Big D in the chat, he's he's saying uh, uh, GM just had biggest chip shortage ever. Yeah. But 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 the CFO did have some positive comments. I think. Oh right? yeah, you know what? Here, let's let's hop into let's a news. Look, let's hop into a news feed. Yeah, oh, I saw I saw these comments earlier. Yeah, he said, he said it's getting better. Uh, it, yeah, so, so it's a story from these, Reuters. He, that, he said huh? it's getting better. As soon as that headline came out, so so pull up your chart, Spencer. I, I I've got the news up. You got the news up. All right. I go back yeah. To pull, pull, pull up your chart on on GM. The, the the comment was made right around 320 right so so go to that time on your chart past the 15 keep going we're right around there it oh, right is there. you, see, I mean, right you there. can see it right it's right there yeah. that's that's when they made it so so that rallied that and that's what gave ford the additional legs that it needed to get over that 12 dollar level um everyone in the chat asking what is going on as if we're we running baby as if we know like <laughs> Sundial, Spencer, look at Sundial. That that's my favorite one. Shout out the Atlas boys. Oh, they, they set at fifty cents. That Sundial was getting to two. They got it to two. Um, yeah, dollar fifty on Sundial. All of a sudden. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. All right, I just got to look at the movers widget. I'm like, oh, Spencer, look at Naked Brands. I still own Naked. That's the only one that I still own from that era. That era was like last week, Luke. It was three weeks ago. All right, whatever. Okay, KOSS. All right, I'm just gonna hammer them down, Spence. Yeah, they're so, all so they're K all ripping. They're all yeah, ripping. KOSS, 31%. AMC, 20%. Express, 20%. Naked, uh, 17%. Um, 
But you got uh, Sundial. Bed Bath. Bed Bath. I don't see Bed Bath. Couple you got a little nine. bit. Right. Uh, Blackberry's got a little bit. Blackberry's up 5%. Up 9%. Um, and th- that's pretty much everything that's moved over the last, I'm looking over, moves over the last 30 minutes. All right. So they're saying somebody, somebody, I don't know who, asked Charlie Munger about GameStop. They think, may, I mean, w- but what would he have said that that is bullish? There's no way he would have come out bullish GameStop, right? I may, actually, maybe he's like a value guy. So maybe. Um, but here, here, here it is, Spencer. I'll put a link what? in the chat. You put a link in the chat. I bet it? it's on Benzinga Pro too. I just Googled yeah, all it. Right. All right. Well, there's the Charlie Munger story for you. Oh, uh, again, what would he have there. said that that would have done anything? I have yeah. No idea. What what would? All he right. So so yeah. any second now, uh, we're we're about to reopen on well, on where, GameStop within chart? the next couple seconds. How do you know that? Uh, because I told you the time it's going to reopen. F- 51. It's going to reopen at 51 and 38 seconds. These are all five-minute halts, right? All right, here we go. 91.70 is set in stone until it's not. Until we open up at 100. <laughs> I don't know. This is ridiculous. All right, uh, eventually we will cover some some other stocks in the next 10 minutes, but... um. For now, I, yeah. I I can't really. The, the same thing happened two weeks ago. All right, I, Nvidia, Nvidia, Jesus Christ! In, it, it's, it's not Nvidia. It's a, Nvidia. Okay. In you're you're, you're in you're in the video, okay? You're in the video. So th- there's your daily, again, global shortage of semiconductors. Mm-hmm. So we've already seen here. Let's do this. Well, let's look at how they reacted to AMC. Uh, sorry, AMC. A- AMD. When did AMD report? Right. AMD reported on the 26th. Okay. January. That that gap right there. That gap down. That was AMD earnings. Keeping one eye on GameStop chart. We're not open yet. So a- a- AMD was punished for its report. That's their closest peer. Let's go back to NVIDIA. All right. Rockets moving with the crowd too. A little bit. I mean, it's it's a big move for Rocket. Um. All right, Spencer. How much did I impress you that I typed up all that whole Leslie thing while I was on a video Zoom? You did? Yes. You remember that LESL? I gave you the thing to look at. I no, know I know. It. I I we brought it up on on about an hour ago. Um, I, I typed that whole thing up while I was on a sales call. <laughs> so so I, I I was selling. And typing that thing out. What? So why do you like Leslie? L E S L. All right, L E S L. All right. Here, here, here's the pitch. Is this a recent IPO? Or yes, it's a recent IPO. So, so what the company right. is here? I'm, I'm going to share my screen in a second here, Spence. All right. Um, I'll, I'll walk you through the numbers. Um, but, but, but basically, so, so the company, it's a pool company, right? They, they do pool supplies, pool, pool supply. equipment, yep. all that sort of thing. All right. Here, let me share my screen. Share I have screen, I have share. horrible memories of being dragged there as a kid. All right, so 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 it's a pool company, right? Here here I, here's an image from their, their slide deck, right? They they do all the pool stuff, pool pipes, pool pool chemicals, whatever you need. Here here here's the crux of the pitch. All right, they're they're, they're historically their slowest quarter of the year is always the quarter that just finished Q4. Thanks for, for this upcoming quarter. Analysts have the estimate set at what they reported in their slowest quarter of the year. But but we have a nice new catalyst this year that, that Wall Street doesn't seem to have taken on, which is the wave of cold weather that took place in the south. In Texas, there's no such thing as winterizing pools, right? Uh, you, you, you don't do that. You don't close it down. The pool's open all year long, right? You had this wave of cold weather, pipes bursted, chemicals were needed, all that sort of thing. And, and so Leslie's is sending trucks and trucks and trucks and trucks of supplies and people into Texas and some of these other states that had really abnormal weather to, to do some of these things like replace pipes, treat pools that... that you know, so something went awry with the chemicals, et cetera. Um, you know, th- this is coming from Chris Camillo. He lives in Texas. He called several stores that sell Leslie's products. And, and the stores told him these products are out of stock. We're, we're getting more. We're asking for as much as we can. And, and so basically, I'm, I'm buying the stock uh, uh, be- because I think that they're going to have a better than expected quarter. We had this abnormal catalyst that happened. Estimates haven't been revised up yet. The stock hasn't moved up yet. C- catalyst that we're going to wait on for this one is either the company is going to come out and say, hey, you know, we're here's what we're doing to help Texas. 
Genesis and slip in there. We sold a ton of can stuff. I, can I interrupt you for a and second? And they're going to have earnings. I, All right, go for I, it. GameStop, yeah, expect, yeah, GameStop. Game, GameStop expected to resume at 356. That's why. The okay, so they did a 10 minute halt. Yep. Why? The, the the first one, all right. I, I guess the the they can ex, they can make the circuit breakers longer if they need to. Uh, Char- but when Char- they were getting halted ten times in a day. It was always five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the Char- circuit breakers do. Charles like Gross, who is the Benzinga Pro Squawker, said they they sometimes will will extend the halt if there's a liquidity issue, but that wouldn't be in play here. I don't think. Um, I don't know. Okay, sorry. I, I didn't mean to. All right. F- no, no, you're good. I mean, yeah. I, I got through the pitch, right? Okay. So, so the catalyst. I think that they're going to beat. They're either going to beat the analyst estimate or the revisions that the estimate for sales is going to get revised higher. Um, and and so we're waiting on one of those two catalysts. If if we don't get them re- revised higher, then, then great. We hang out to it for it until earnings. I bought calls for after earnings on the twenty five dollar strike. Um, you know, uh, otherwise, you know, we're, we're just hanging out till earnings. So so there's the play there. All right, three fifty six. Uh, at, oh wait, no, I my mind is playing tricks on me. Three fifty six. Uh, yeah, normally we have Joel, uh, for the half hour, but Joel had to dip out at at a quarter off today. So, uh, he, yeah, Joel I, left. So I, all I you apologize. got is Luke. I apologize on Joel's behalf. Um, well, what does Joel normally do? At this and and, and Luke, here? but you you said you had more thoughts because we're not doing any uh streaming content past nine a.m. for the next two days because we have the Benzinga Cannabis Capital Conference. Uh so we're doing pre-market prep straight to cannabis Thursday and Friday. So no at the close show for the rest of the week after today. Uh no no power hour. Uh that we are gonna do a SPACs, but we're gonna record it and air it so it won't be live. Uh no biotech, nothing like that. So Luke, now this is your last chance basically to speak to the people. Okay, so so I'll I'll do a one minute. I mean, we don't have long, right? We have two minutes, Spencer, yeah, and we're we we're waiting minutes. on GameStop. Whatever GameStop starts, cut me off. I'm but, going but let me go on a little bit of a CCIV rant. That's the Lucid Motor deal. I, I want to do this one today, but we ran out of time. Mm-hmm. Ba- basically, pe- people are applying Tesla multiples to CCIV sales forecasts for three years from now. Okay, Th- those multiples are not comparable. When you're when you're doing this type of valuation analysis with multiples, right? You're looking at Tesla sales this year and applying it to four years from now. Think think about what what the multiple is that Tesla is going to be at as sales increase over the next four years, right? So so they might be trading at at a price to sales ratio of ten and a half right now, which it is. But but if, if you look at what their sales are going to be three years from now, that that might be a four price to sales ratio, right? So 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 there's uh, my my thing is. If, if you're looking at multiples for CCIV and Tesla, I had a, a whole ton of math drawn up. I had an Excel spreadsheet. I wanted to take everybody through on it. We don't have time today. Um, but but basically, I was, I was backing into a price target for CCIV. And in longer term, it, it was around where, where the stock is right now. Short term, not going to speculate on that, but it was around where it is now. So Spencer, so so this stock it was supposed to resume at 356. It didn't reopen. Dude, they're not going to open this thing. They're, I, I'm calling it now. Uh, Dude, I, I, that's a problem. I, I don't that's know that a major problem. Yeah, you're damn right. It's a problem because because all these institutions who are jockeying for position want to get out of the close. I don't think it's a problem for that reason, dude. All right, this is the it? same thing that happened when when there's going to be madness. No, this, this is, is the a, same thing that happened not, when they halted buying. This is, People a trading, are go crazy. this is a trading halt. So so it's not. I don't think it's the same thing. So, so you're saying Ken Griffin didn't call call Nicey and halt the stock, which I don't necessarily think he did either. But that's what's going to come out of this. I don't know. I mean, no, no, of course, of course, no one called the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, but, uh, dude, this is a problem. Here, this is me... another systemic problem that we have. The stock is ripping and nobody can trade it again. They can, for all we know, they'll open it, you know, <laughs> after the close or something. Let me pull up a one minute chart. Be halted. It just, zoom news out. just out. It just came out. Uh, shares will, will be halted into until the close, at least. So we're done. It's bullshit, so in we're my done. opinion. We are. This is a one-minute chart. We are done trading GameStop today. If you guys, yeah, I mean, this is this is a problem, dude. We saw how, how much madness there was. There was a congressional hearing when they stopped trading last right. time. Marcus, and now they did it again. Marcus the S and P's at a high. It's closing at a high. It's it's got resistance right at the what three ninety two point two level or something like yeah. that on spy. The three ninety two twenty on on the right. index. Markets closed. We're done. Diamond hands win. Uh, Luke, I have to hop on a call. We got the Benzinga Pro. Benzinga Pro happy hour next. The link should be in chat. If not, go to youtube.com dot Yo, okay, well, Let's help the people. I'm gonna paste the link in there. Uh, 
it, it should already been, been there, but if it's not in there, paste it again. I appreciate that. I have to hop. I have, I have a, a call because I have to prepare for the Cannabis Capital Conference Thursday and Friday here on Benzinga. What, what are you oh, doing for it? Wait. Hey, we're open. They, they opened not, it? They did not just do that. They did you not just leave, do that. Spencer, we have a minute until the close. They did not just do that. All right. Let's see. It's early. It's they getting just hammered. That. They just did that. Oh, my God. I've, that's never happened. That is oh, no, ridiculous. no. They open it right on the close. They usually wait. Oh, my God. Dude, there's going to be madness. Portnoy is going to go nuts right now. <laughs> Holy so crap. Weird. They just did that. The, the high tick, the top tick that we have on it is $99. Uh, hello, 60. Do I hear 50? All right. This is ridiculous. I, um... I, I'm gonna hop off here. This is ridiculous. This is insane. I I can't. I can't even with with this stock. Um. All right. Benzinga Pro Happy Hour. Luke, thanks. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't end the stream, Spencer. I'm gonna drop the link in. It's it's starting right now. All so, right. Of course, they're they're gonna talk GameStop. I'm gonna spam the link in the chat here, guys. All right. It, it's it's coming through. Click over. Hang out with the Benzinga Pro team. They're 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 gonna be talking more GameStop. They're, right now, it looks like I've, I've got to open on my other screen. They're talking nice. Apple. I haven't looked at Apple really today. I just look at S&P to look at Apple, more or less. Um, but again, dropping the link in the chat. Spencer, peace. You, you can leave. Uh, GameStop's making another ride back. Jesus. All right, guys. I, I will see you over on the next link. Powerhour at Benzinga.com is our email address. Uh, if, if you want to write us, you know, you write nice things, mean things. It doesn't matter. Spencer's going to go get a drink. And peace out, guys. I, I will see you over on the happy hour.